What's the emergency droid? This is Darth Malgus of the Expeditionary Fleet. I bring greetings from the Viragi Sector. You are the Lord who inherited Tulak Horde's secrets. Now I ask you to lend that power to the Emperor's cause as we begin the march to war. Not many Sith claim to know the Emperor's will. This is an exceptional circumstance, as you will come to understand. For three centuries, our Emperor has held a Jedi Master prisoner, prolonging his life and his torment. The Jedi Master possessed a secret, the location of the Foundry, an ancient space station of untold power. Both the Jedi and his Foundry concern us today. Where does fighting the Republic come into play? The Emperor sought to pry the Foundry's location from the Jedi's mind, but for centuries he resisted. So the Emperor has set him free. Predictably, the Jedi Master fled to his Foundry and brought the Republic Armada with him. He has led us to our prize, if we have the courage to claim it. Releasing the Jedi was a risk, but it may yet pay off. How do we reach our enemy? A fleet of 30 Terminus-class destroyers is gathering. We may meet with Moff Veneer aboard the flagship, where he is coordinating the attack. We will capture the Foundry and slay this Jedi at last, and all the Empire will roar in triumph. Red Shrike to hold position until they're patched. They're not doing us any good. Yes, sir. And get those engineers a shuttle. Marfanir? Darth Malgus sent me. My lord, it's an honor to commit myself and my fleet to your cause. The Sith shall lead us to glory in the Emperor's name. Most men in your position aren't eager to work with me. I'm proud of earning my position, but a great moff must be selfless. We live and die for the Sith. Tell Darth Malgus we're ready. This is Darth Malgus to the Imperial Strike Force. The Emperor's prisoner, the escaped Jedi Master, has unwittingly led us to the Nanthri system. That is the location of the Foundry, an ancient alien space station embedded inside an asteroid. The full capabilities of the Foundry remain a mystery, but the Jedi Master who discovered it will do anything to protect it. The Republic fleet is already on guard. What are our options for an approach? We are en route to intercept a Republic cruiser carrying supplies and reinforcements to the Foundry. We will immobilize the cruiser with a tractor beam. You shall lead the boarding party. Once the cruiser is captured, you can use it to slip past the Republic defenses and infiltrate the Foundry itself. The Treaty of Coruscant still holds. There's not supposed to be a direct war against the Republic. The treaty is crumbling day by day. This is more important, but do not underestimate the enemy. We're in range of the Republic cruiser, attempting to lock tractor beams. We have them. Get to the airlock and take that ship. It's the only way we can reach the foundry. This is Captain Yelto to the Imperial Boarding Party. I admit, you have us outnumbered and outgunned. You know we're not going to escape. You're awfully confident for a woman who knows she's beaten. This vessel is powered by a Type 4 Hypermatter Annihilator. Right now, I'm disabling the safeties and rigging it to self-destruct. In a few minutes, you, me, my ship, and half your fleet will be reduced to stardust. A few minutes is all I need to take control. I have my doubts. Yato out. Ah! Area is secure. Get the tech team. Shut down the self-destruct. Blast you. All of you, get off my bridge! Is this some great victory to you? Using a fleet to capture one ship? You will give us access to the Foundry, and that could change everything. If it does, it won't be with our help. I'm not telling you anything, and I'm not begging for the lives of my crew. 
I know about the massacres of the last war. All boarding parties report success. Should we begin executions? Kill them all. Fear will ensure the Empire's strength. Acknowledged. Bloody work, but necessary. When the operation is complete, we'll broadcast the names and faces of the dead as a warning to the galaxy. More importantly, the cruiser is ours. Preparing it for the assault on the Foundry and its Jedi Master now. Any more information on the enemy defenses? We're pulling that data from the cruiser computers. In the meantime, I offer congratulations and suggest you return to the flagship. Darth Malgus wants to speak to his strike force. Marfanir, you said Malgus wanted to talk? Yes, while we're refitting the Republic cruiser. You have done well, all of you. Had we such strength in the last war, the Treaty of Coruscant might not have been needed. We're honored, my lord. But now, a greater challenge awaits. I have studied the information from the Republic vessel, and I am now certain of the Foundry's nature. What have you discovered, Lord Malgus? The Foundry specifications match those of three other space stations known by history. Each of these legendary stations could manufacture technology on a massive scale. One, Xenoformed planets. Another, built fleets of ships. The Starforges? The Foundry creates endless armies of droids, commanded by the Foundry's Jedi Master. A man very likely mad after his long imprisonments. If this man controls the Foundry's armies, we need to know how he thinks. At his prime, he was a powerful warrior, a general and a skilled tactician. A legend to some. Now, I cannot say. Moff Veneer, you may proceed. The Foundry is built into an asteroid surrounded by the Republic fleet. The cruiser we captured should pass their blockade without interference. You will fly the cruiser directly to the Foundry and lead the ground assault, while our ships jump from hyperspace to engage the fleet. The Foundry will be ours. And you will eliminate the Jedi Master. There's much I can learn from these ancient builders. Then secure the Foundry for your own sake. Glory to the Sith and to the Emperor. Helzun, set course for the Foundry. Yes, my lord. Laying in course. Any words to the crew before the assault? Those who do my bidding will win the favor of the Sith. That is all you need to know. Course set. Engaging hyperdrive. Transmitting authorization codes to the Republic fleet. They're allowing us to pass the blockade. Approaching the foundry. Receiving transmission. This is landing control to Republic Cruiser Doran Sky. You're six hours off schedule. Is there a problem? We had to adjust course to avoid an Imperial patrol. Nothing to be concerned about. Understood. You have permission to dock. You can wait aboard the ship while we run the final security checks. We're docked. Estimate two minutes until our fleet arrives and the battle begins. If I may be so bold, I suggest you take the offensive. Stop. It's time we talked. I am the master of the Foundry. Once the Emperor's prisoner, now the man you've come to destroy. Open this door and face me. I don't want to fight you. Three hundred years ago, I found your empire in the stars and stood against the Emperor himself. I was betrayed, defeated. I paid the price as the Emperor ravaged my mind over centuries. But I gave him nothing. I am proof that the Dark Side can be resisted. You say you're a Jedi. You say you fought the Emperor. In my time, servants of the Sith invaded the Republic. I gave up everything to seek their masters, and I discovered Droman Kass. 
I've seen the Emperor's corruption. He and everything he's built must be destroyed, or the galaxy will suffer forever. You don't need to die with him. Surrender, and you can wait out this war as a comfortable prisoner. Life as a prisoner wasn't good enough for you. You really think I'm going to give up? I hoped. You leave me no choice but to turn the Foundry against you. These machines are extermination droids. My infinite army. Farewell. Assessment. You have been exceedingly sporting during our hunt. I am HK-47, the Master's most faithful ally. Once a mere assassin droid, it is now my burden and joy to command the Foundry's mechanical armies. I didn't think Jedi believed in assassination. Or built droids to do their dirty work. Commentary. I am often pleasantly surprised by my Master's moral compass. The extermination droids are my master's crowning achievement. They are equipped with bioscanners capable of detecting Sith genetic material. Any organics with Sith ancestry will be slaughtered. This includes 97.8% of the Imperial population. This was never about winning the war. You're talking about genocide. Emphasis. 97.8% efficient genocide. Commentary. As much as I'm looking forward to butchering our enemies planet by planet, I have missed the personal touch. Your bones will make excellent trophies to commemorate my return to assassination. Prejudice set to maximum. That HK unit you destroyed, you waited loyally for 300 years. I can rebuild him, but it won't be the same. Can't you see you're on the wrong side? The Emperor is death. For you, for me, for the galaxy. Listen to yourself. If you use the Foundry to exterminate billions, how are you any better? I'm doing this to save lives, not for glory. I will mourn for the dead and do what I must. As a young Jedi, I went to war. I accepted violence and darkness, and the Emperor called to me from across the galaxy. He made me a Sith Lord and named me Darth Revan. I killed for him. I turned on the Republic. But I have found redemption. 300 years ago, the Republic didn't know the Empire existed. How did you get the attention of the Emperor? I discovered hints of your Empire on dead lost worlds. Korriban and Malachor. The Emperor felt it, and he summoned me. I nearly destroyed the Republic, and that nearly destroyed me. When the Jedi returned me to the light, my memory was shattered. It took me years to track and confront the Emperor again. I tried to end him, and he murdered my companions and locked me away. For three centuries, you've been steeping in hate. Now that you're free... All those years in his prison, I could feel him in my mind, drawing on my connection to the Force. But I was in his mind too, fighting him. Only I've been both Jedi and Sith, and found clarity in the Force. Only I understand him, and his death is my responsibility. You think you're the only Jedi who's ever fallen? You're one of thousands, Revan. And you're more deluded than most. Think what you want. It doesn't matter. I've saved the Republic twice before. I've fought Mandalores and armies of the Dark Side. You won't stop me. This is station control to the Imperial Fleet. The Foundry is ours. Fantastic news, my lord. We lost good men in the fleet battle but we're mopping up the last of the Republic ships now. I assume the Jedi Master has also been eliminated. That Jedi Master used to be a Sith called Darth Revan. 
Yes. That's a matter we should discuss in person. As soon as we're secure, we'll conference with Darth Malgus aboard the flagship. You have my congratulations and my admiration. Fenir out. The battle is won, my lord. The foundry is ours. And it shall be a fine weapon, once wielded properly. This is how the Empire will prevail. Not only through superior armament, but through superior individuals. No other Sith could have struck such a blow, or defeated the heretic Revan. You could have told me who the Foundry's master really was. Revan has followers within the Empire, and the secret had to be kept. I apologize if you feel ill-used. Three centuries ago, Revan was strong in the dark side. A fallen Jedi the Emperor took an interest in. But he rebelled, and had to suffer. Now his story is ended. He would have destroyed the Empire, given a chance. Our teams are going over the Foundry. It'll take some work, but everything should be salvageable. Even the HK unit, if we bother. It may have useful memories, and it could be upgraded. Regardless, we have a new army, and a victory for the ages. One to prove no would-be Sith or Jedi Master is a match for the Empire. Celebrations have begun on Dromon Kass. And soon the cheers of the people will become a battle cry as the true war begins. The people have a new Sith Lord to adore. Me. You rise through the ranks quickly. Enjoy the fruits of your success. With your help, the galaxy will become a much different place. <laughs>